In today's video, I'm going to show you how to set up Steam on your computer so you can start downloading computer games today. So here we are at steampower.com. The link to this page will be in the description below. Once you're here, you want to come up to install Steam. And Steam will be available for Windows and Mac. I'm using a Windows machine. It automatically detected that. Go ahead and click on install Steam. And your download should start. Once the download is complete, let's come up to the top right, click on the three little dots, select downloads, show in folder, and we can exit out of the browser. And let's drag that Steam setup file to the desktop. Exit out. Now go ahead and click on Steam setup to start the setup. You can't see my screen right now because my user account control came up. Do you want to allow this app to make changes to your device? Click yes. Welcome to Steam setup. Next. Select your language, I'm English. Next, choose a location you would like to install Steam. If you're not happy with the location they're providing, go ahead and click on browse and you can select wherever you would like to install Steam. That could be an SSD, an external hard drive, your C drive, it doesn't matter. If you're happy with that location, go ahead and click on install. Once it's done, go ahead and click on finish and it should start updating Steam. Now it wants us to log into Steam. Now since we're new to Steam and we don't have an account, you want to come down to don't have a Steam account, create a new account. Now go ahead and put in your email address, confirm your email address, select where you live, prove you're not a robot, and check that you're over 13 years of age and then hit continue. Once you're done typing in your info, you're gonna see this screen, verify your email. You need to go back to your browser, open your email, and look for a Steam verification email. Email verified, please return to the account creation window. If that Steam account name is available and your password meets all the requirements, you will see new account created successfully. Continue. Now go ahead and sign in with that account name and your password. All right, so now we are logged into Steam. As soon as you log in, it's gonna take you to the store page. Here you will see the latest game releases, games that may be on sale, and games recommended to you due to games you have played in the past. All right, let's go up to the top and let's click on library. Here you can see the games that you have downloaded. Let's go up to community. The community groups are user created hubs where members can share interests, coordinate gaming activities and host discussions in a group form. And if we click on our user created name here, you can change your profile name. If you're not happy with the one you created, you can enter your real name. This will help friends find you on steam a lot easier. You can create a custom URL. You can select your location if you would like. You can add some information and summary about yourself and it gives you the option to hide community awards on your profile. Let's go down to avatar. So you can browse the avatars that Steam have available and you can choose from that selection or you can come over to upload your own avatar and you can upload a picture of something you would like or you can upload your face. It's up to you. And the last one you guys need to look at is theme. And here you can choose a color theme for your profile page. So if you're not happy with the default theme, you can choose from one of these colors. Now let's say you just brought a game and you have the game downloading and you wanna see the progress of the download. All you need to do is come down here to downloads and here will be displayed any games you have downloading or any games that need an update or games that are getting updates. And the last thing I wanna show you guys is how to access your friends chat all the way down here in the right corner you will see friends in chat click on that and you will enter the chat menu so those are all the main basic steps you guys need to know to get yourself up and running on steam so you can start downloading pc games today thank you guys for watching if this video was helpful make sure to hit the like button and i will catch you guys in the next one